Hey guys, 7 WWE Rocks here, and uh, for today's video, I was going to talk about uh, Total Nonstop Deletion, which is tonight, of course. I'm very, very excited for it. Um, but uh, WWE hit us with some big, big news this morning. I woke up, uh, checked on my phone, checked on Twitter, and I was really shocked. Like, I did not see this coming at all. There was no like rumblings about it. I believe with the Cruiserweight Classic, I feel like there was kind of something to do with it. Like they were saying, you know, they're going to do some show with the Cruiserweights or something. So it was kind of, not like not like totally spoiled, but it was, you know, we, we kind of saw something of this coming. Uh, but this did not see coming at all. So uh, Triple H, uh, Michael Cole, William Regal, Finn Balor were all in the UK. Um, I don't know exactly, but they were doing a conference, a press conference where uh, Triple H announced that they would crown their first ever United Kingdom champion. Um, the belt's pretty awesome. I think the belt looks really, really nice, honestly. I don't know, maybe... Some people are saying it looked horrible or whatever. Everyone's complaining about the belts. Uh, I usually care about what it represents and who has it. So, um, I but still, I still I think it's a great design and uh, I think the belt looks really really good. So, they announced that uh, 16 competitors from the United Kingdom and like Ireland places like that uh, would compete in a two night tournament. So it would be January 14th, uh, Saturday and uh, Sunday would be the January 15th show on the WWE Network. Uh, they will be doing it at the, uh, here, let me see what exactly it's called, um, the historic uh, Empress Ballroom in Blackpool. Um, 16 competitors, so it's two nights, so um, it looks like they're you know definitely going to be doing uh, you know multiple matches probably on the second night. I would think opening round matches on the first night and then you know going in the, breaking it down uh, in the second night. Um, I have no idea who any of these people are. I think I know one of them. Honestly, they did announce the the or they did. I found it off of a dirt dirt sheet website. Uh, the like official sixteen people and two alternates. Um, because cruiserweight actually had four alternates. I don't know if some people knew that, but like Jesse Swartzen, I remember was on the cruiserweight classic. Uh, but uh, the, really the big big thing. I'll I'll go over the people and then I'll talk about the big thing. So just real quick, um, the people are uh, here we go. Uh, I again I have no idea who the two alternates are, so I'm just gonna name off the 18 people. So uh, Joseph Connors. Roy Johnson, Jordan Devlin, uh, Tyson T-Bone, Tucker, that's it, that's just his name, uh, H.C. Dyer, or Dyer, Dye, Dye, Dye I, I don't know, uh, Tyler Bate, Wolfgang, the guy's name is Wolfgang, people, that's pretty amazing, Pete Dunn, that's the only guy I know because he was on PWG shows, uh, Trent Seven, apparently he's like pretty amazing, uh, Chris Tyler, Dan Maloney, Jack Stars, James Drake, Sam Gradwell, Ringo Ryan, Saxon Huxley, and Tiger Ali. So if I did mispronounce some of the names, I apologize, but it wouldn't be a seven WWE Rocks, uh, you know, revealing, tournament revealing names. Uh, it wouldn't be a seven WWE Rocks video if I didn't butcher these people's names. So yeah, Pete Dunne's the only one I know. And um, uh, the big, big thing I thought that came out of it. So Michael Cole said he's been watching this announcer for a while now, and he's been wanting to bring him into his WWE and uh, so co-announcing it with Michael Cole the entire tournament will be none other than Nigel McGuinness. And that had me so freaking excited. When I saw that video, I couldn't believe it. I thought for sure him leaving Ring of Honor was just a storyline. I really thought it, uh, it was a story. I remember telling my brother about it like this, and being like, oh, it's just a storyline. He's not really leaving Ring of Honor. Uh, but no, he's leaving Ring of Honor. He's out. And uh, he's going to be announcing this with Michael Cole. I love Nigel McGuinness on commentary. He just makes... Every match feel like big fight feel to it, and I really, really enjoy you know the way he talks and stuff, um, and his like match dialogue and stuff. I think he's really, really great. So I'm I'm actually really, really looking forward to the announcing. Um, but the tournament itself, I'm not worried, but I just don't know any of these people, and that's you know also a good thing because then I can be you know I can see new talent that I can really end up enjoying and being you know fan favorites of. Um, but uh, I just, after the Cruiserweight Classic and how fun that was, and then, like, them on Raw, it just doesn't feel the same. I'm a little worried these guys won't feel the same at all. Um, I feel like the tournament will be fun, and it's only two nights, so it's not like, you know, the Cruiserweight Classic, which was ten weeks. But, um, I, I worry that it's gonna be, you know, like, after it's done, it's like, well, who cares? It's just, like, a few other extra people we can use, and, uh, they'll just verse each other in United Kingdom matches, probably, 
Um, but uh, that's really the only worry I have. But I'm excited for a new tournament. I'm excited to see people I have never seen before, um, you know, have no, like, say from other people or biases and stuff and opinions. I can just go in and see, you know, what I like about them and who my favorites are. Um, so I'm looking forward to it. So let me know what you think about all this tournament all this crazy stuff. Um, like, comment, subscribe, all the good stuff. Follow me on Twitter at 7 WWE Rocks. Um, yeah, definitely comment down your thoughts on the design of the belt. Uh, maybe some opinions or whatever of your like your favorites that are being in the tournament. Are you excited? I'm not the biggest UK wrestling fan, but it's just I don't have I'm not exposed to it like a lot. Um, but I am excited to see what these guys have uh, have to offer to the table. So um, let me know you know all those all your thoughts and stuff on this tournament. Nigel McGuinness being in WWE is I, that makes me really really happy. I would love to see him continue uh, broadcasting with the WWE and being an announcer, hopefully on like Raw or something. But or ne WWE Network tournaments, it doesn't matter. Uh, but uh, thanks so much for watching. Uh, tonight I'll actually be on WWE TNA 1152's channel uh, because we're going to be doing a, uh, or he's going to be doing a um, uh, total nonstop deletion review, and uh, I'm going to be on it, I think. So I'm excited about that. I can't wait for tonight. It should be awesome. The Hardys, King Maxwell's debut, possibly the Young Bucks. It has me really, really excited. So thanks so much for watching. As always, have a great day.